Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going over part 7 of the warehouse design series. And in this part we're actually going to be adding in a trucker's lounge in the warehouse itself. As well as the fire pump room for the warehouse too. So, should be a medium sized lesson, not too much to take in. But there is going to be some important tips and information in this lesson as well. So, with that being said, let's get into it. Real quick, before we get into it, please consider subscribing to the channel below. This kind of gives me a gauge of whether or not the videos are doing well, whether or not you guys like them. If you do like the video, give it a like down below as well. If you want to see anything done, leave it in the comments section below. And if you want to support the channel, there's a link down there too. All right, so we're going to be adding in the trucker's lounge and the fire pump room to the facility in this video. The first thing I want to say, and we're going to do the trucker's lounge first, is that some facilities will have a bigger trucker's lounge, which essentially is a place that the trucker can come in and sign all their paperwork once they've delivered their uh, trailer or container full of merchandise or product. So they will always need to come into the facility and sign off on certain things and do a little bit of paperwork. And sometimes truckers' lounges are in offices out in the warehouse. And in small warehouses like this, we're not going to put an office out there. We're just going to have a desk. We are going to include a bathroom because that is courtesy for truckers themselves. Um, when you're hauling stuff, sometimes it's nice to be able to just come to the facility and use their restroom because you've been on the road for a while. And again, these guys are trying to hit a schedule as well. So being able to you know, have a restroom for their convenience is always a nice thing. So what we're going to do is we're actually just going to grab the office restroom right up here. We are going to copy it. And we are just going to bring it down to this door right here. There. Escape. And as you can see, we have the outline of a bathroom. So we're now going to finish out the walls and they're five inch walls going to bring this down right here Let me come out five inches bring this down right here and then the next thing we're going to add is actually a uh, chain link style fence which will also have a door in it but we're just going to make it big enough for right here and this fence essentially is it's going to be an indoor fence but it's going to keep the trucker from coming in and that is going to allow someone with a desk to kind of take all their information. So what we're going to do is, since that is the fence right there, we are going to come up here. We are going to grab this desk and chair that we used in the last lesson. We're going to copy this as well. And we're going to move it down right here. And again, this is for someone taking on the trucker's information and anything they need, any paperwork they need to do. So the other thing we're going to do is we're actually going to add a door. We're going to copy this and we're going to add a door to the chain link fence, fence as well because we want them to be able to exit and come in if need be. They shouldn't, but again, we want that to be an opening for an emergency exit as well because this is also one of the building's emergency exits. So we are going to move this right here and oh, doesn't need to be exactly in the middle, but you know, I want it to look kind of centered and nice. We're going to erase these because they are not needed. And now we have a door into the chain link fence as well. So again, this is the trucker's lounge that gives them a bathroom. It gives them an area to sign in, and that way they can drop their load and or container off into one of the doors. All right, so now that we have the trucker's lounge and sign-in desk put in, the next thing we need to add is the pump room itself. So what the pump room is, is it will house your fire pump for the fire suppression system in your building. So within the U.S., most warehouses are required to have some sort of fire suppression system for safety. And what the pump room does is it houses the pump that pumps the water through the warehouse in case there's a fire. That way it will uh, go to the sprinkler heads and extinguish the fire itself. So since the pump room really isn't too much of our job, we just need a space for it. We are going to create the space for the pump room and then an external contractor or vendor will deal with that. So to create the space, we're going to need roughly, we'll call it 14 inches, sorry, 14 feet 
by 34 feet. Uh, depending on where you're at, you might need a little bit more, you might need a little bit less, but we are going to come in here and we want to put 12 inch concrete walls, like the external walls around it, because it's going to be a very important room. And you will actually need kind of uh, monthly inspections on these just to make sure they're functioning properly. And again, you'll have an external vendor do that. And we're actually going to want to um, add a door to this as well. So we're going to create one that's already right here. Here, we're going to use this. And since it's created, we're going to take this, we're going to copy it, and we're going to add it. And it doesn't really matter where you add it, but we'll just put it right there. And now you have the door to the pump room. We're also going to label it on the drawing real quick. So we'll do a single line text. We're going to label it pump whoop, room. and of course it's going to be difficult so we'll rotate it and we'll make it smaller that way it fits in by scaling it I'm sure there's a faster way to do this for me right now it's just not worth it now we will move it into place and as you can see you have your pump room so in the future when you bring in a, uh, an external contractor or a vendor you'll be able to show them that this is the pump room this is where our pump is stored uh, for inspections, and you'll be able to guide them with this drawing. All right, so I know this is a little bit of a shorter video, um, but the pump room and the trucker's lounge are two pretty important things. The pump room specifically, you're not really going to have a choice on whether you need it or not. You're most likely going to have to have it. Most uh, facilities require a fire suppression system, and to operate one of those, you need a pump that is typically quite large, and it needs to be secluded behind a firewall within the facility. The trucker's lounge is a nice to have um, if you, you know, don't want the trucker to come up to the front entrance where associates enter and they're able to kind of just do business in the back, then, you know, it's always a plus for them to have a space that they can come in instead of going through the front door. The bathroom's also a plus, just kind of a courtesy thing for them. Uh, but yeah, you know, it's not a necessity or requirement, but depending on how you want to, uh, you know, lay out your warehouse, it's a nice to have, so... If you liked the video, give it a like down below. Subscribe to the channel if you would like. Um, thank you for watching, and I hope everyone has a good rest of their day.